All right, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today is the uh, what you call it? the the day when FB FB page or their social media page have dumped out all the list of like rewards. So as I've just seen here, this is from uh, Taiwan server. So Taiwan server is uh, relatively close to CN server. Like they're only different for a month, so the prices shouldn't uh, shouldn't differ. But when we check in the in the EN one, they sh they showed that they only uh, will give us two thousand eight hundred with like uh, uh, forty eight. 48 free pools and uh, 72 paid. So if we look at the uh, Taiwan server, it's uh, 42. So in a sense, it's a little bit like a uh, almost cancel out each other. But let's let's see in the breakdown and let's compare on like how is it different and then what are the other things to expect during the second anniversary. Okay. Now, uh, one thing that I've seen is a huge huge comparison is that uh, the date when they release the patch. So if you look at Taiwan server and CN server, they start the patch during anniversary itself. While in EN server, we started the patch a little bit early. So uh, they already announced the Reverie, they already announced Chapter 9 release, etc. Et so because of that one, uh, in a sense, they kind of like removed the section where, oh, we're going to have new achievement, new update, and everything. So they removed in that part. I'll show you later in the breakdown, okay? Now, uh, next, they also added uh, this one, the free 10 draw. So I don't know why EN chose to do this instead of just giving us limited tiers, but I'm going to assume that uh, they're just going to put instead of like, Pull using X tiers, they just put like zero cost, something like that. I don't know why EA would do this. Maybe there's a part where they chose to remove it because we don't celebrate that holiday. That's what I'm guessing. Because for, for CN and Taiwan, they celebrated GC, which is like the quote unquote Valentine's Day ish of uh in uh in Asian countries. But for global, I guess like they compensate it by giving us uh, free ten pulls. That's what I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, next, I want you to put. Uh, I want to put this in mind. Okay, huge disclaimer. Do not trust this seventy-two commented. Okay, because last year a lot of people got clickbaited. Like, oh, there's so many pulls. You got ninety pulls. Blah blah blah. No, okay, it's not true because these paid tiers can only be obtained during. Uh, if you're after being top up, basically. So if you're uh, topping up, then did you do bonus, etc., etc. So this time, uh, compared to first anniversary, first anniversary along the way, as you pull, you get extra tiers. But for second anniv, we don't get that anymore. Okay. I don't have the screenshots to prove that one, but yeah, trust me, bro. <laughs> no, I, I mean I don't have the old screenshots for first anniv. But since we're not getting those bonuses stuff, then it's not that important. As for second anniv, the bonuses will just be uh, main cards. Okay. It will just look like this for every 100 pulls. So basically, you hit hard PT, you can choose one name card you can choose any guy okay it can be look first or them first it's up to you you're going to have a selection uh name card thing then that's what i can claim it okay now the pt i'm, I'm sure everyone's gonna ask about the pt so before i continue i will insert the pt count okay pt works as a regular ssr banner i mean like the limited one so the pt for your first anif because global's having it will not carry over to second anif but first anif will carry over to the next instance of rerun of first anif so it will also follow the same way for uh for second anniversary so second anniversary if you miss it or if you don't get the ssr your pt will be saved to the next instance of second anniv right and that will also be the same for for your name card so for example you have 50 pulls to get the name card okay in the next rerun where second anniv comes again your 50 pt or the name card will remain in that in that okay i hope that makes everything clear to prevent people from asking the same freaking question okay now uh, what get what what are the free stuff that we can that we can get during um anniversary okay so first of all here it says the uh starry starry summer so i will count the three temples and this one okay so uh let's just make it like this oh plus that okay yes so what's this starry starry summer starry starry summer is basically uh the same event as uh lucky love Lucky Love Blues, the one where you have to grind stages and everything. Like they give you a list of tasks and it's gonna give you gacha. Yeah, it's gonna give you gacha. As long as you do the task every day, then uh you can finish the whole box. Once you finish the whole box, you can you can get the uh, two limited tiers. I'm I'm not sure if there's an extra badge in this one. Most likely not, because this is like the event, quote unquote pre anniversary event. Okay. So yeah, that's where you get your two tiers plus some S chips. Now in the calculation for free pools, I will not count the, the S chip one, okay? Because one it's a uh, it, it varies per person, like do they actually want to use that S chip and everything or something else. So I will only count the blue the blue tier only, okay? Now this is where they put the uh, wait, wait, uh trace of tears exchange shop. So this one I'm going to assume for now that no one's going to use this. So this is like an emergency button to to uh to pull. Okay. Trace of tears exchange shop is basically every time when you pull, you get one token. Okay. Right? So you can use that one token to exchange for materials inside the shop, right? So 
uh, there's another option where you can use this tier for every 10 tiers you exchange for one tier and then there's only eight stuff in the shop so this one's also the same with the uh, taiwan server uh this part yeah. this part eight okay so i'm i'm not going to add it in the calculation because i assume that uh not everybody will do it okay next returner gifts returner gifts you only get actually a maximum of four or five i'm gonna assume five because the other one is a uh, you bring three returners back, two returners back, one returner back. I'm pretty sure not everyone can complete all of this task. So what we have seen from the previous limited uh, limited uh, SSR events is every week you get to share it for free and then you can get the uh, you can get the limited tier, right? So yeah. Uh, and then this one is the one that I'm saying, total purchases. So this is the one for bin SSR. So if you are not the type to will, then you can count this out. I will not count this as well because this is limited tier. This is the one that we're after, okay? Next, Moonlit Eve is basically the main event of the second Adif. So as long as you play all the mini games, you do all the tasks, it will lead you to a gacha, uh, similar to Scuddy, like the one with the gacha box and everything. So that's where you can get all of your S chips and uh, limited tiers, including the event tasks, okay? In there, you can also get the badge, the main card. Later, I'll show you, okay? <laughs> okay, next part I will say is the, is the very, not, I wouldn't say sauce, but like, Loki low clickbait. Yeah, there we go. Loki clickbait. All right. This 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 four hundred is the one that I've mentioned in my previous video. This one. All right. The things you have to do before Anif comes. That's where the feeding and feeding campaign. I would name it. All right. Basically, you need to have the SSR first, and then you have to do the feeding task. So you have to level up your cards. You have to level up the skills, etc., etc. Once you complete that, you can only get one hundred S chips per guy. So if you're going to get the whole four hundred S chips, you have to get all four guys SSR and level all of their skills. At least two skills. Uh, two skills to level six and one skill to level ten. So yeah, it's pretty material hungry uh, type. Okay? This one card keeps sake sharing it is basically uh, similar to first Anif. So first Anif, when you finish reading, there's a gift, right? And then you have the option to share. Once you share it and it's done posting, then you can get your 50 S chips. <laughs> so in second Anif, spoiler, it's instead of the gift, the gift keeps sake, it's a uh, it's the ring, right? So yeah, this one, right? So this is the badge when you finish reading the SSR, and then there's like a 3D, 3D version uh, model where you can read and then you share that to get the 50 S chips. So again, one guy is 50 S chips. So if you want to get them all, that's the time you can get the 200 S chips, okay? Anniversary mail from him. This is different from what we received last week. So uh, since this is the one with a proper added week, then that's the time you can get the um, rewards from him. Refreshing Sweet Summer Puzzle event is uh, this is this is like the event after anniversary day or like towards the end or so this is similar to previous one with all the uh, when you do the task then you unlock the chibi the chibi puzzle okay uh, the CG is should look like this one okay so yeah, once you see like a sneak peek of all the guys faces you know that anniversary event is almost ending so yeah that, that's why uh, <laughs> yeah the, the list looks super short because uh, if you're going to look at the Taiwan server okay or the CN server uh, you can see that uh, this part is the same, right? It, so far, it's the same. But if you see in uh, page two, it's a little bit long because they extended this one version uh, version prices. So basically, 2.5 maintenance finish, they give you 300 S chips. I think they already give this. And then the reverie, since they already announced the reverie, once you finish it, you can get two regular tier and 150 S chips. This is regular for any type of reverie, okay? Without buying. Again, I will not include the S-chip rewards as it could vary and uh, we're more focused on the free pools, okay? This one is permanent achievement. So I don't know if, uh, I forgot if they announced it in the net during the patch notes or not. So it includes new achievements and then uh, when second Anif event drops, okay, they're going to add a new update where the guy's affection level raises from 30 to 50. So that's where you get 400 S chips. Again, it's split across four guys, so that's a total out, okay? They did not add this during the second, uh, this, this, this uh, rewards S chips. That's why it looks few, okay? Hope that clears all the, all the confusion and everything. All right, uh, next, uh, page two for, for EN is this one, okay? Version bonus or oh wait they added here okay my bad EN can't read moment <laughs> but instead of three hundred they added they only put sixty I guess it's because uh there is chapter nine so there's that but um notice that in uh uh in global we can we have uh more more stuff so yeah the sharing events and then they're gonna release like special redeem calls for Discord events etc etc so I would say this is like a global exclusive thing right okay? assuming that these two uh these two are like a 
free for everybody, then we can add uh, two to the to our calculation. So in total, you should get around 35 free pools. Yeah. Okay. I hope that there's like all the confusion for, for everyone. If someone's gonna ask, like, oh, why why a CS server? We're getting 6,000 here, we're only getting 2,000. Yeah, this, this video explains it, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, for second annual, I will, I will just give you like a mini spoiler sneak peek on what's gonna happen, even though I think Global should release this. Uh, pretty much within the week or next week before the event comes. All right, so there'll be around a lot of mini games. Okay, the first mini game being you have to catch fishes. All right, catch fish, make sure they don't jump out of the bucket. And then the second mini event is like collecting stuff. Then you have to dodge the trash and everything. So uh, yeah, when you play the game, you'll understand it better. <laughs> Third one is similar to uh, is it similar to any mini game? I kind of forgot, but it's something like you have to group the biscuits by throwing it on the on the play field and make sure you have to match on what the guys are giving. So yeah, there's that. Fourth mini game is a plumbing event, <laughs> so you have to connect such connect all the pipes such that the water will flow from uh, bottom to top. Yeah. Okay. And then there will be like a Q and A Q and A. So they're going to ask, uh, for example, for example, like what is Luke's height, and then you have to find the number or the letter of the spelling from this uh, pool. That's mini game number five. Mini game number six is basically appreciation to NPC. This one's super easy. You don't need to uh, type a lot there. They have pre pre made text. So, yeah. And then this is the uh, the 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 mini game where you have to control both characters at the same time, just like in the uh, Kofeng or Bizarre's event where uh, stage four or area four, where uh, you have to guide both of them to get all the all the gifts and then exit. So yeah. And then lastly, once you finish all of the mini games and the tasks, you'll be given this this currency, this flower currency, to gacha. If you gacha, you get uh, 10 tiers, if I'm not mistaken, 10 tiers, and then uh, you get the name part and MC room as the reward. Okay. This is again, this is assuming that Global will follow the same as CN and I want server. Okay. So yeah, just a grain of salt. And then for people who are asking what the attire for second anime looks like, it's not the one that they're wearing in the card, but rather it's the sum attires. Yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> All of these are paid. I don't memorize the prices, so just wait until uh, Global is released, okay? Again, uh, for now, try to pre-farm as many S-rank materials, A-rank materials, and impressions as, as early as now while the campaign is still on for Chapter 9. I've already explained this in my previous video. You can check my Hoya Love or in my channel in like, the latest video right there. <laughs> so yeah, I promise you it's not quick paid. Okay? There's a reason why I put that video up. So yeah, that's about it. Hope this uh, helps helps you understand better on like the breakdown for like the anniversary rewards and like you won't get clickbaited by the post itself. Alright. So until until then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.